This is the Beverly clock that's been running almost nearly continuously for 160 years now. The only time it was ever manually wound was when New Zealand watchmaker Arthur Beverly constructed it in 1864. Today it's situated on the third floor of the physics department at the University of Otago, New Zealand. Unlike most weight-driven clocks, the Beverly clock uses changes in temperature and atmospheric pressure as a mechanism to wind itself. There's an airtight metal box inside the body of the clock with about a cubic foot of air inside it. When the temperature changes, the air inside the box expands or contracts, and that presses on this layer of oil here, which moves the float. And that float lifts this rod that's connected by chain to this winding mechanism. Over the course of a day, a temperature change of about 6 degrees Fahrenheit is enough to lift a 1 pound weight 1 inch, and that's enough to keep the clock running. Although it's only been wound once since its construction in 1864, every now and then the physics department stops the clock to clean or calibrate it. Or whenever the physics department itself moves locations, the clock moves with it. And sometimes there isn't that 6 degree change in temperature that it needs to keep running all day, so its biggest enemy is air conditioning. But when the repairs are done, or the temperature goes back in sway, the clock sparks right back up, and it, theoretically it could go on forever. And I hope it does.